Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another Q&A. You guys know I love these videos. So I thought today's I would do about YouTube. I feel like so many people have questions. I know I did when I first started YouTube about like how to start, advice for starting, or just general questions about doing YouTube. So I thought it'd be fun to answer some of these. Now this isn't a how-to. I only know my experience and I'm by all means no expert. We're still learning here. We've only been doing it for about a year and a half. So I'm just giving you guys like my best advice, I guess. And I tried to pick commonly asked questions as well. So to get started, the first question is by Caitlin Rose 2824 and I'm looking at my laptop if you guys are wondering like, why do you keep looking at the ground like a weirdo? Um, and she says, what's the hardest part about being a YouTuber? The hardest part in the beginning, there's like two, I feel like two different times of hardest parts. The hardest part in the beginning was definitely adjusting to, okay, wait, let me take that back. L let me go a little by a little. So when we first started, it's just start, you know, like starting, like putting the camera in your face, which I'll get to later. But that's kind of the first part that was hard was just being yourself on camera and not worrying what other people are going to think. But then later down the road, I kind of got over that and got more used to it just because that's what happens over time. You just get used to it. And then came the hate comments once we started getting subscribers. And that was really hard for me to adjust to because I am somebody that if you say that to me in real life, we're going to have a talk about it. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not, I wouldn't just not let it slide. Like I'm not saying like, we're going to get down and fight. No, by all means it's not. No, but I just mean like, I don't know, I'm, I'm someone to stand up for myself, I guess you, like that's how I would word it is, I'm, I, yeah, exactly. I can stand up for myself. But on the internet, you can't react and it's very hard to not react when you're used to doing that in real life. So that's a huge adjustment and was. Now I feel like I'm a little better at it. I haven't done that in quite some time, like totally just, you know, gone off on somebody or defended myself because I felt the need to. But now it has nothing to do with the audience and it's more just, what can we do with our channel to make us happy? I feel like the hardest part once YouTube becomes a job, if you will, YouTube does pay us or more so Google pays us because that's who own you owns YouTube. Um, I think <laughs> Google's the one who pays us anyways. Just because we get paid does not mean to us that's not, it's not our job. It is because we get paid and I know in, in some ways that's exactly what a job means, but to us, it's just like a hobby that we get paid for and it's amazing and I you know I it's mind blowing, but it's true. It's not really a job to us. And me and Oscar always say the second that this stops becoming fun is the second stops no matter if we're making a million dollars, which we're not, or ten dollars. We're you know, it, it doesn't matter how much money we make. The second it stops becoming fun is the second that we stop. So I feel like that's the hardest part now is just making sure that whatever we're doing is for us and we stay happy doing it if that makes sense um next question is by savannah at okay bug buddy how long did it take to did how long did it take you to get used to talking to a camera so this is what i mean by i'll get to it later it was hard it still is hard there definitely is times like in public no girl it is so awkward for me i'm i hardly do it i'm sure you guys notice on our vlogging channel um it is just I can't get used to it. It's still weird. I'm still adjusting. Oscar, on the other hand, is really good at it. But another thing for me is when we go to LA to visit friends and family, I can't vlog in front of them. I don't know. It's just, it's so weird, but it's, it's, it, people think that you get used to it when you're a YouTuber. And it's, I feel like you don't. Like, I feel like there's so many YouTubers that I've met or that talk about it on YouTube that it's still so awkward. So don't expect to jump in and just be like, yeah, I mean, some people are and they're natural and that's great, but not everybody is, but that's fine. You know, that's pretty normal. The next question is by at Maya Lanas. What is one important advice that you could give to anyone who wants to do YouTube? One, I guess one is to be patient. I watched a lot of YouTube uh, videos, like how to start YouTube. I Googled so, or YouTubed so many of them, like how to start YouTube, tips for starting YouTube, all those types of videos. And there was one video and I think it was like this girl I had watched, she had like 2000 subscribers at the time. And she said, be patient. And I remember thinking like, I don't know why it just stuck out to me and like still to this day 
anytime anybody asks me in real life or online what's my biggest advice that's it be patient because I think you get into YouTube thinking like tomorrow you're gonna gain a hundred subscribers or even ten and that is not 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 the way it works I remember the first time Oscar and I posted a video it got like six views and like I don't know six or seven days and it was all us because we had gone back and watched it and watched it and we didn't realize until later but it was just us watching, it wasn't anybody else. And it just, I think it took us like six months to get to a thousand subscribers, maybe even nine months. I don't remember specifically, but I do remember it took us a long time. For some people it takes them three months, but that's not to say that because it took you longer, you can't ever get somewhere because I feel like we're somewhere. We have 600,000 subscribers and I just feel like that's so, that's huge to us at least. I know there's people with like 10 million subscribers, but to us, that's it's huge so even though it may have take us, taken us longer than it has taken some people to get you know a hundred subscribers or a thousand subscribers we're here now and you know it worked out fine so being patient it doesn't have a, happen overnight or over a week or a, even over six months so be patient that was a long answer um, Oscar at Oscar and Kier what is your favorite part of YouTubing does it ever get overwhelming so the favorite part is two favorite parts getting out being able to look back on videos and meeting you guys like brother we're meeting in person or meeting you guys through messaging or t like you know just like statuses or tweets whatever you know like even if it's quick conversation just having conversations with you guys is personally one of my favorite things does it ever get overwhelming um it can sometimes especially if we have to upload twice in a day it is extremely hard because it does take six to eight hours to edit i know a lot of people think that you just film and edit but if you do youtube you know <laughs> It ain't just that easy. The filming is, by all means, the filming is pretty easy, but the editing is definitely, definitely hard, especially if that's not your passion, because my passion isn't editing. My passion is sitting and talking to you guys. So I have to edit though in order for me to upload it. I don't know, it's a little complicated, but obviously it's still worth it in the end. Next question is by Shorty underscore Mariah. Why did you decide to start making videos on your main channel? So I always wanted my own channel and then that's how we kind of started YouTube because I wanted to start YouTube and then Oscar kind of like jumped in and you know was a natural at it and really good at it. So we did the vlogging channel and then I just wanted a channel where I can like sit and talk to you guys once I got more comfortable with the camera and just make like you know sit down videos like this rather than vlog type videos so I did it and at first my videos were so terrible and so awkward but here I am now and I am sure some of my videos are still awkward and I'll look back five years from now and still think they're awkward but I don't think they're anything compared to the first video I ever made so yeah I don't know I just I just wanted to have videos that weren't vlogs and kind of like have it be myself <laughs> next question is by at Oscars Cheerios who inspired you to create a YouTube channel um Dulce Candy actually inspired me to do a YouTube channel now I know that's ironic because she totally does like beauty and fashion and I'm like none of that but when I was in high school I did want to do beauty and lifestyle on YouTube and then when I became a mom I had much more of a passion for lifestyle and mom videos as why I'm doing this now but she's the first person I ever watched on YouTube the first person I ever like knew YouTube was like a place where you could make videos like this or similar to this so I like was amazed and watched her videos for like four years I still watch them but I don't watch every one and I used to watch literally every single one for like four years. Do you believe in quality over quantity when it comes to how many videos you put out and how long they are? Yes, on both channels. Um, vlogs, because we do daily vlogs, it's not really about the quantity because it is about the quality and that's why we don't care if they go up late and that's why we don't have an upload schedule. A lot of people ask why we don't. And we just choose not to because we don't want to feel limited or pressured by a time because again this is our hobby and we do it because we love to do it not because we have to do it and i feel like if we had a schedule we'd be more focused on finishing rather than the quality of the content that we're putting out and then on this channel that is why since my channel relaunch i've really focused on my quality i don't know if you guys noticed but i definitely don't put out even half as many videos as I used to. I try every three to four days and sometimes it's every five days because I'm really, really, really focusing on the editing and making sure that the video I'm happy with it. I'm, if I'm not happy with it, I refilm it, that I'm ha like really passionate about what I'm filming about, that I'm not making filler, you know, videos. 
And some of you guys ask why I don't make certain videos and it, you know, pregnancy updates. That's a huge one. People are like, why don't you make pregnancy updates? And to me, I'm just not passionate about those videos. I know I keep saying that in a lot of videos, but a lot of people keep asking. So I'm just going to say it again. I'm just not passionate about those videos. I don't really care to watch other people's and I don't really care to sit and talk about my own because if it's important enough, I'll tell you on my daily vlogs. You know what I mean? So I just feel like since I'm not passionate about that, I don't want to make a video about it and I don't want to sit here and you could just tell, a lot of you guys have noticed that I'm, you know, I am more passionate about what I'm creating now and that's, even when I look back at my videos, I'm just sitting there like, yeah, and I don't feel good and my hair is just, and I just don't like that. Also with my pregnancy updates, I just, that's what I felt like it was. I'm just sitting and complaining about my pregnancy and honestly, it made me look at my pregnancy a lot differently and this time that I haven't done that, I, I definitely don't look at it even half as negatively. So I'm not saying everybody does, but that's just my personal opinion on it. So I definitely care about quality over quantity. But that's pretty much it. I didn't choose that many questions because I knew my answers were gonna be kind of long. So I apologize if it was ranty. I need to stop apologizing. You guys always tell me, stop apologizing. I just can't help myself. <laughs> but I love you guys so much. Thank you for the questions. I know that I didn't answer like a lot of how-to questions, but I wanted to keep it kind of generalized. And I'll probably do a more in-depth video later on. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Like when my son was a newborn, I liked using, you know, a diaper bag, diaper bag. But now that he's getting older and I, you know, I'm starting to like want to take care of myself more as well. I don't feel great carrying around a huge bulky kid diaper bag. So I decided that it was time that I just went out and got myself a purse. I've never had like a good quality purse either so I did kind of 